Good morning, boys and girls. It is Pastor Janet here with you again, and I wish you a happy Mother's Day, or at least your mom a happy Mother's Day, or your grandma, or Dana, or Granny, whoever you may happen to have. I hope you received the craft that I sent you and you were able to um, put it together in your own special way or maybe had a, a grown-up or older friend to help you. So today, we've been, well, we've been talking an awful lot about the church and the church's primary purpose is to worship God. But we haven't talked much about who God is, what we think about God. So I have a couple stories for you. Um, the one, first one this week is called Drawing God. And it's about a little girl and how she sees God. And I hope you will enjoy this story and then draw your own pictures of God. So let's get started with the story. Last Monday, after a field trip to the art museum, I was inspired to draw like Picasso. The urge to draw something beyond spectacular followed me home and would not leave my side. Hmm, what should I draw, I thought. I sat quietly, listening to my mind and heart. And that's when I heard their whisper and decided to draw God. Grabbing a yellow crayon, I drew the brightest sun. It was so dazzling and radiant, my cheeks throbbed. Its rays were so long, it poured at my heart, poked at my heart. Staring at the drawing, I knew I had drawn God. The next day, I took my drawing to school and showed my best friend Peter. Look, I drew God. Peter looked at me and chirped, Emma, that's not God, that's the sun. At first I wanted to argue with Peter because I knew it was God. God is light. But instead, I decided to go home and draw God again. This time, I grabbed a brown crayon and drew a loaf of bread. It was the bread my mother bakes. It makes me feel warm and tingly inside when I eat it. My mother said that bread reminds her of God's grace. I looked at the drawing. It made me feel warm and ting tingly inside. I knew I had drawn God. I took my picture to school. At lunchtime, I showed my almost best friend, Rose. Look, I drew God, I said. She looked at the picture, and then she looked at me and said, Emma, that's not God. That's a loaf of bread. Again, I wanted to argue. Rose, this is God, I thought. God is bread, but instead, I decided to go home and draw God again. That night, I sat down and asked God for some help. Please, God, help me draw you, I pleaded. I stared at a blank piece of paper for a while. And then grabbed a red crayon. I drew a gigantic heart and colored it in so hard that my crayon disappeared. When it was done, it was the reddest, most beautiful heart I had ever seen. My heart was thump, thump, thumping. I knew, absolutely, 
positively I had drawn God. Even Picasso would agree. At lunch, Peter and Rose found me. They asked if I had drawn any more pictures of God. From my backpack, I pulled out a folded piece of paper and said, here's another one. Peter opened the paper and squalled, squawked. This is a drawing of a heart, not God. Rose chimed in, Emma, God is not a valentine. This time, I wanted to jump up and down and scream, God is love. Instead, I took the drawing back and tucked it away. As I walked home from school, everything felt heavy. That night, I didn't feel like Picasso. Kneeling next to my bed, I asked God for some more help. God, please help me draw you so that my friends can see you. By Friday, it seemed as if everyone at school knew about my God drawings. Everyone was looking at me. I was waiting for them to point and to laugh. But for the first time, I didn't care what anyone thought about my drawings. I felt a comfort that would not leave my side. I knew that I had drawn God. And God knew that I had drawn God. And maybe Picasso knew too. And finally, that felt like enough. But on the following Monday, something beyond spectacular happened. Everyone at school was drawing God. And every picture was different. The end. So how did you like our story? It's one of my favorites. She really felt badly when her friends didn't know what her drawing was about. But finally she knew it was okay. I want you to know that your drawings of God are always okay. And both God and I enjoy them. So if you feel moved to do so, I invite you to send me your drawings of God and I will enjoy seeing them and hanging them up on the mantelpiece for our adult worship. So have a wonderful day and know that you are loved and blessed by God. See you next week.